Hey guys, Dan Carr here with Shuttermuse.com. Today we are taking a look at the Peak Design Everyday Messenger V2. Now the V1 was uh, Peak Design's very first camera bag. It was hugely successful on Kickstarter. And there was a V1.5 that had a few tweaks to that original design. But the V2 is a different shape. It's an all new design, few extra features, slightly different sizing. So today we're gonna run through all of those. Now at the start of the product life cycle, we have this available in black and ash gray for $220. In the past, Peak Design have added additional colors to some of their products during that product life cycle, but we're here with just two colors right now. And personally, I think this black looks very smart. Uh, wedding photographers, event photographers, people that might find themselves working in a business environment where they want to just stay smart and under the radar, this black is going to be a great option for you. The ash gray looks fantastic too. I have some other ash gray products. Actually, hold on one second. I have one right here, don't I? I should have thought about this, but this is this is actually the Sling V2, uh, but it's in ash gray, so it shows you what color this would be if you were getting the ash gray one. So side by side there, uh, two very different looks, um, but there you go, you have something of a comparison there. Let's put that aside, back to the messenger. So on the front here, we have the magnetic latch that has been around since V1. You pull that thing down and then you can pop it open. You have four different points to attach this. So if you don't have a lot of stuff in here, you can hook it to the, the lower one there and you have a really kind of tightly packaged bag there that would take a camera, two or three smaller lenses and your laptop. But if you wanna really load this out, you can always hook it onto this top one here. And then it's kind of tricky to show because I have nothing in this bag right now, but it allows you to sort of bulge the bag out like this. So you could stuff some clothes in there. Um, you can put a tripod in there and we'll take a look at some of that in a second. But this latch, uh, I don't know if the mechanism has been refined slightly or I've just gotten better at using it, but it works great. Just a simple pull on the finger uh, with the latch there and it pops right open. So, taking a look inside the bag. The layout is slightly different. So if you've had a V1, you're gonna see a few differences here. First difference here is we don't have a pocket on the front anymore. This front pocket is now sort of on the top of the front section. It's somewhat hidden. They call it a secret pocket. Uh, the zipper's maybe a little too big to really make anything secret about this, but uh, it's there. You can see the depth is about, about a hand, half a hand there. And if I spin it around, and you can see in there, we have some little flappy pockets, uh, four of them in total, you know, for your batteries, maybe some uh, small tools, uh, your headphones, small accessories like that. So a great place to put also your memory card wallet in this section. So zip that up. Uh, we also have YKK AquaGuard zippers on this. So the zippers are all really burly and water not tight, but semi-water resistant with the AquaGuard here. So that's a nice addition to that front pocket. Now in the top here, this is in the lid, we have another pocket. Pop that open. This is a really small pocket, but it's good for uh, some phones. I'm not sure about pro phones, like, you know, the iPhone Pro, the really big ones. You get your sunglasses in that. It's got kind of a soft lining to it. So uh, for things like that, that's handy. It's also just a good shape for pens and pencils and that kind of stuff. Um, when you open up this for the first time, you will actually find a pair of straps in there. So let me show you these straps. Basically, they have a pair of plastic hooks on them. Okay, you see that? So these hooks can go into various points around the bag. So let me zip this up. In this example here, there's two hooks here and two hooks here. So you would hook these straps on there and that allows you to strap a tripod in this position. So grab my Peak Design travel tripod, carbon one, which I love. Um, I'll put a review link for the tripod in the description below as well, because people always want to know about this. It looks great, doesn't it? Okay, so you can see the size of this tripod here is a good match for the width of the lid here. Then these two straps here, I'm not gonna go into it but and actually do it, but these straps clip on like that here and then a second one over here. So you can strap this tripod into the lid of the bag there. So that's handy. There's also another set of these loops on the base of the bag, okay? So you can also strap the tripod 
to the bottom of your bag. However, I know shoulder bag companies love to put straps on the bottom here. Personally, I am not going to put my fancy expensive tripod on the bottom of a bag because it means when you put it on the ground, of course this is going to get scratched to hell. So I don't recommend doing that. Uh, I'm showing you the option because maybe there's something, uh, something you could strap on there. Maybe you are, you know, strapping a jacket on the bottom or something that well, even then a jacket is going to get dirty. Okay. So I'm not sure what you would strap to the bottom here. I don't like strapping things to the bottom of a bag that's going to get put down on the ground, but there you go. So I am going to call this tripod compatible though, because it fits great in the top section of this bag. So these you'll find in that pocket when you first open the bag. I'm going to put them away for now. Okay. Back to the inside of this bag. So this is a 13 inch bag. Uh, when I say that, I mean, it's a bag compatible with 13 inch laptops with the V1 and the V1.5 version of this bag. The bag was available in a 15 inch and a 13 inch style. Now peak design decided to just go with the 13 inch for this, for this version. I'm not sure why they did that. I know there are people out there that wish uh, that this was available in a 15 inch, uh, you know, people using MacBook Pro 15 inch, 16 inch, they definitely would have appreciated a larger version. And I cannot think why Peak Design did not offer that to them. However, I use a 13 inch laptop and this is fine, obviously. Um, so in here we have, of course, a little tag, don't need that. Um, in here, of course, we have some magnets. Peak Design love magnets. So there is a magnetic attachment here between this front section and back section. So basically the laptop pocket is designed, uh, divided into two. So you can put uh, your papers in one side, your laptop on the other. You can put your tablet in one side, your laptop in the other. Pretty simple stuff. Um, there's no padding really on that central divider. So you don't want to put sharp things on one side and uh, something fragile like a tablet screen on the other side, but it is a divider there and that is handy. And uh, yeah, we got magnets. Always love magnets. Okay, what else we got? We have the, these kind of foldable designers that Peak Design have been doing for a while. They're fantastic. You can see how well they just um, articulate as the bag moves as well. You know, when you have bags where they just have the divider that is this, you know, this one width and you, you sort of open it up and it kind of, you hear them ripping off from your careful positioning. Well, of course, these ones just, they breathe with the bag. Isn't that cool? And they have this fold down shelf design. So you can stack lenses up. So there we go. I just created a little shelf. Now I can put one lens on the bottom stick another lens on the top or we can fold down that side we can fold down this side now we have a shelf so i've got a camera in here with a lens attached to it and it's going to sit on this shelf we've got room underneath here for the other two lenses so this really is kind of a, a camera and two to three lenses um, you could get your trifecta in there your 70 to 200 in one side 24 to 70 your wide zoom in a camera body uh, that's going to be a fairly tight fit, but it is doable. Um, you know, a couple of lenses, like a 24 to 70 and a wide, and then maybe a prime, a 35 or a 50 prime is going to be a good fit in there. Still some room for a flash or some other accessories. In the side, can you see that right there? We've got a little elastic pocket. See that? We've got another one on the side here. So uh, obviously these, whatever you put in these side pockets, does take up some of your lens space. It doesn't bulge on the outside, it bulges on the inside. Uh, but it's a nice way to divide things up. Here you could put, I don't know if they're big enough for a flash, but you know, maybe a teleconverter, maybe that's where you put your memory card wallet, your, your battery wallet, something like that. You could stick sunglasses in there too. Um, soft material, so that's cool. Uh, and that's pretty much the inside features dealt with there. Okay, so. Nice burly handle on the top, feels good, super strong. On the back side here, we have whoosh, luggage pass through. Okay, this wasn't on the V1, it was added to the V1.5, and that continues to the V2 here. Of course, we have a wicked shoulder strap. Uh, Peak Design, obviously making a lot of camera straps, they really know how to make shoulder straps. So basically what we have here, this buckle, um, when, you, when you've got the shoulder strap over your shoulder, and you want to change the length, you pop this buckle and that allows you to adjust it. So that's unlocked. 
that's locked, not going anywhere. This is the same buckle that they use on the slide strap, the slide camera strap. So yeah, I mean, it's peak design, right? They know how to do camera straps, not messing around there. So that's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, you can detach from either side and flip it around. So if you're left shoulder, right shoulder carrier, this has got you covered. You can figure that out. On the side here, uh, pockets have changed from V1 to V2. We have another YKK AquaGuard zipper here, uh, zipper here. Small accessory pocket. Um, it's not large enough for a water bottle. I kind of wish that it was because we have the same pocket on both sides. So I wish they put one of these on and on the other side, some kind of water bottle pocket. I do find that useful when a bag has one. So I'm not sure what you put in here. Not a lot, to be honest. And it's kind of an awkward uh, side zipper because if you do forget to zip this one up, everything's just gonna fall out with this sort of near vertical zip. So uh, not my favorite pocket design, if I'm honest, but it's there again for your sort of mm, ready reach accessories, maybe uh, your sunglasses. I'm not gonna put my phone or wallet in there. It seems too, uh, too exposed really, but uh, maybe you'll find a use for it. On the other side, same pocket, slightly different because we also have uh, the key lanyard here. So this uses the Peak Design anchor system. They've always included these in their bag. Basically, you hook your keys to this or your memory card wallet or whatever it is you wanna keep super safe. Clip that into there. And then we got this boing, bungee, cool. Um, these are really cool actually. You can buy these as a separate, you know, it's like $5 or $7 on their website. And I've actually added these to some of my non-peak design bags because this is really cool. I like that. So yeah, we got one of those in there. And now hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to bring this with me. So here we have the peak design capture clip. Now, one thing that peak design have always done well is integrate these into their bags as well. So let me just wind this open, give it some room. Now on both sides of this bag, there is a little rail. You see that? My fingers are poking in there. We can, it's a tight fit, but we can do it. Da -da -da -da. All right, nearly there and we're on. Okay, so now we have capture clip installed on the side of this bag. Now that's really cool. Uh, you can put this on both sides. There's a matching rail on the other side. So if you're a left shoulder carrier, right shoulder carrier, you're gonna be able to position your camera in there um, just right. So of course, uh, I don't have the camera with the plate with me right now, but you should all be familiar with the capture clip, right? Your camera just click, hooks in there. Uh, got a locking knob. This is the most recent version of the capture clip. I think it's a V3. There's been so many versions. Uh, but I think it's a V3, maybe it's even a V4. Whatever's the current version at the time I'm posting this review, this is it. So uh, the little locking switch there to keep it safe and a little release switch there. So you can hang your camera on the side there. So if you're walking around, you've got some lenses in the bag, you can have your camera with a lens attached hooked onto the outside of the bag, which is really cool. So I think that's basically it. Like that's quite a lot of features for for a shoulder bag like this. Um, and I really like it. I, like I said, the, my main complaints are that we have two identical side pockets. Really wanted a water bottle pocket on the side. Uh, you know, okay, sometimes it's a coffee mug pocket or whatever, but you know, something of that size, because if I'm carrying this around town and I'm popping in for, to the coffee shop for, um, you know, doing a bit of work. I've always got my, my uh, reusable coffee mug with me. On a summer's day, I've got some kind of water bottle. So I would have appreciated a water bottle pocket on the side. And then really the only other complaint I have is that they don't offer a larger version of this. And I know that there are gonna be some of you out there going, yeah, that's a really cool bag. But my laptop is 15 inches or 16 inches. So yeah, you guys are out of luck. And uh, that means that you have to go with one of Peak Design's backpacks if you wanna stay in their product family and you have a larger laptop. That actually, mm, you, know, you can get a 15, in the everyday backpack, you can get a 15, and in the travel backpack 45 liter, you can get a 15 inch laptop in those as well. But some people just like the shoulder bag. And some people wanna travel with a shoulder bag as your personal item. Um, 
to go on the plane while you also have a backpack. So um, yeah, it is a shame there isn't a larger size. I've seen many comments saying the same thing, so who knows, perhaps they'll listen, perhaps they will add a 15 inch version, 15 slash 16 inch version at some point. But if you have a 13 inch version or you're just using a tablet and you want a place to store a camera and two to three lenses, I mean, look at this thing, very cool. Yeah, um, typical Peak Design build quality as well. Uh, so I have no, no issues with any of that. Super, it's kind of noisy when you scratch it, but it feels cool. Very water resistant, uh, not entirely waterproof apparently, but gosh, it kind of feels like it is. Um, and the way that it's designed as well, in terms of water, yes, you have open sides, but you can see the actual opening is, is well tucked under this ridge. So they don't offer a rain cover for it. There isn't one that comes with it. They don't offer a separate one, uh, but they're pretty confident with their design that if you're carrying this in the rain, the water is gonna run off the lid and miss the opening. And I would have to agree with that. I would say this is pretty, pretty darn water resistant. So there you go. That's a pretty solid look around the Peak Design Everyday Messenger V2. If you like that, please subscribe for more reviews like this in the future. Give us a thumbs up and tag that bell so you get a notification as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.